sangria, so the variety we imported from Italy. Uh, Pietro Papalini developed it, and, it's, and we sell it to Freitas. This has been this is Italian breeding, so the, the flavor is what the Italians expect to have, which is different. Is it better? I like the green artichoke is good, but I like our green artichoke is better. I like them both, but they're different. They are different. What is your most popular artichoke? It's, it's a green artichoke because Americans like big, brown, green things. And the key to artichokes is the stem. Stem is soft, good artichoke. Mm. And you look at the size of the stem and where it's growing in the plant, you can tell if it's a good artichoke. Sometimes a perennial artichoke will be a little open like this and still be good artichoke. So it doesn't have to be closed to be... It doesn't have to be closed tight. Yeah. I mean, we, and this is so good. Oh, I taste it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to share. Oh my god, it still tastes good. It tastes good. How did you taste it? It kind of... Fresh. I think if you have something that's 14 days old, right, right, yeah, yeah. 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 that'd be that good. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of that one? Fiesole. Fiesole is a small town in Tuscany, just north of Florence. The purple is different than the red of the Romanesco. The red tends to lose the color. Purple does stay purple. And the same preparation. I mean, it's just that. What do you do? You can cut them in half, and you can just saute them in olive oil and garlic. You can bread them. You can roast them. A raw artichoke part. Is it good? Oh, I don't know. It's <laughs> oh no, somebody else like this. Oh, oh, there's a sweetness. There's yeah, a, it's not as bitter. It's mm. it's more sweet. The stems. Sweet. Yeah, oh, that would be interesting. The leaves are, are sweet. Yeah, and mm. tender. Very nice. Very interesting. Yeah.